What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, <laughs> it was against this clan, a South Korean clan, uh, called Crystal. And if you follow any of the Invicta recaps, you'll know that literally two wars ago, they faced this very same clan. Uh, Invicta came away with the 10-star victory. Um, you know what was good about this clan, though? Uh, they didn't have a bunch of foreign bases, right? Uh, Non-symmetrical bases. Um... Unfortunately, the we'll just hop on over here. Um, their kind of downfall was, you know, they used 59 and 60 attacks. Good for them. Um, you know, got two stars and everything except for Moose up there. Uh, three star at South Fence. Uh, but you will see they missed a lot coming down this way. So that was their downfall, right? Because when we hop over to the other side, uh, we'll check out. We did miss that 110, but we do have a few, yes, a few TH10 triples and clean the nines except for number 23. Let's see who that unfortunate soul was. Oh, nam nug, 78%. <clears throat> nice try, buddy. Um, but good job 2.0. Uh, these crystal guys, you know, um, 15 star victory, so that's uh, fantastic. Uh, I really like some of these attacks in here. We're just gonna hop right in because there is a few. Hi, uh, Kitty, you're in the exact spot. I always tell you not to be, but of course, she wants to be. That's right, you get out of here. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I got quite a few attacks in here because these are uh, not terrible bases, they're, they're decent bases. So, um, again, you know, although it's random kind of matchup, uh, these crystal guys, uh, something someone mentioned in the Invictory camp. I don't know if I'm remembering it correctly, but I think it was that these guys are one of the top South Korean trophy clans. Um, not 100% sure on that. Uh, check the Invicta comments, uh, uh, Invicta recap comments from this Crystal Clan, and you will see what I'm talking about. Anyhow, let's just jump right in and check out my man's sword. <clears throat> so, um, very interesting comp, uh, but has that Grand Warden in there, right? So, that's going to do a lot of work. The three lightnings I thought was a cool... Uh, Cool little addition to this, because the queen's going to charge right into this base. Um, just kind of clearing out all this stuff here, but you will see in a moment. Good old queen walks. It takes so long. Uh, she's going to kind of, sorry, I thought she charged in here for some reason. Uh, Watch a lot of replays. Um, but this air defense from this point, as you can see, is completely targetable. So down goes that air defense. Uh, she's going to continue to walk her way down here. Uh, maybe she charges in down here or kind of sends in um, the kill squad. Oh, there goes that uh, zap quake. So uh, out comes the CC. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little cold on this one, I guess. For some reason, I'm not remembering this attack whatsoever. But it's all good. Queen's going to take care of that CC. Wizard goes down to help with that hound. Even a couple minions go down to kind of help out. Uh, thought that was good because you do not want to take many shots from balloons uh, on your queen. Uh, but everything is going to plan right now. Poison's helping out still. Uh, minions, or sorry, the lava pups are down. So this queen is going to continue on in. So maybe see like 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 the maybe this is what I was thinking of. It's totally what it was, is what I was thinking of. Uh, she's going to continue to work her way in here. Uh, everything's looking good because keep in mind he probably does have uh, or he does have sorry three lava hounds in the bag. There goes the first one. Going to start dropping those balloons from quite the distance. Take out these. Uh, these defenses that are uh, really out of range of that air defense. Uh, but all the hounds are in on that first air defense, closing in the balloons. Haste to go down, going to push everything through. Does have a rage. And look at the kind of Grand Warden placement. I thought this was kind of clever. Protects the balloons from the multi inferno. I thought that was really, really clever with the Grand Warden. Nice job with that sword. Grand Warden's just moving in here like nothing, helping out this air army. Uh, just a, like very, very, uh, I think, innovative. Um, TH11 versus 10 bully. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, look at those balloons. Like, they're not taking any damage from anything standing under that stuff. Uh, Grand Warden hasn't even taken a hit either. Got still his Barb King on the outside. He basically just used for cleanup. Uh, just a fantastic attack sword. Really, the Expo is the last defense and structure remaining. So, Tree Star is in the bag. Beauty. Eventually, we probably won't show Town Hall 11 versus 10 
three stars. But for now, we don't. It's still new. So I'm going to show them. <laughs> Mofo. Here's a 10 versus a 10. Good old fashioned suicide hero. Um, brings a golem though, I believe. So we'll say a cold blooded. Yeah, there's the golem and the giant. Um, so kind of a cold blooded entry here to really wants to take out that air defense, take out that defensive queen, pull out that CC and deal with that. Uh, and once that's done, he's got four hounds and 22 balloons. So a little bit short on the balloons for this uh, comp, but has the uh, one freeze, four haste, two rages. He's going to move everything in here. He's going to get a lot more value than just a suicide hero boy because he's going to get an expo. He's going to get multiple archer towers, get that air defense, maybe even gets two air defense. Uh, I could be wrong about that because that queen's going to lock onto that hound, but drops the rage to help that queen just rip through that hound. See how fast that hound's health is going down. King gets in there, almost takes out that air defense, but doesn't. That inferno's locked onto that queen now, so that's definitely a problem. So she's going to have to rage it up. Finish off those Lava Pups and get one of these air defenses for this attack to be uh, remotely close. Just gets it in time. For some reason, I, I definitely think uh, Mo was really hoping to get uh, both of those air defense there. Um, I can almost 100% say that because if he did, this is just GG from this point. But it doesn't matter. Still got a quad Lalo with 22 balloons going in. So here come the hastes. Everything just going to go down. Bomb, bomb, bomb. All the outer defenses are basically down in on top of the Infernos, Teslas, and Expo. Like nothing. Freeze goes down. Take care of that stuff. These balloons are just going to make work of this core. By the time the Freeze wears off, that Inferno is dead. Rage is still down. Just pushing everything through. That Inferno is doing a little bit of work on those balloons. But haste down all over the place. Looking good. Inferno is down. Last air defense is about to go down. See you later. Gets a perfect burst on that pup too, because with that crash, boom, the air defense is down. If oh, that, I didn't notice that before, if that air defense did not go down to that balloon, one balloon crash, uh, this would have not have been a three star. So uh, <laughs> really nice job there, Mo. That grounded expo is about to be made work of. Pups all over the base. We're gonna fast forward this. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit more trash, and away we go. Mm, loving these banquets. Tree stars in the bag. Love having you back, Mo. It's awesome. Uh, D I. Um, you know, very very new town hall ten here. Um, but was definitely a max, pretty much a max nine uh, when it went up to ten. So. Uh, can't complain. Uh, DI makes short work of this base, though, really. Like, DI is still a very new town hall town himself. Kitty, I swear to God, off the desk. Jesus. That one spot. I don't care anywhere else in this room. She can sit. Has to sit right there. <laughs> Anyhow, DI makes short work of this base. DI is still a very new town hall 10, right? Really only has 32 queen. Um, so, you know, he's working on his troops and everything, which is awesome, but uh, still is able to take down these bases just like a champ, right? Here's come this queen walk's going to get huge value, right? Going to work through this gold storage, continue to work its way all the way up and into this area. Uh, notice he's got 23 hogs, so not an air back end. I think that is a big piece because that doesn't get done a lot in um, Town Hall 10 raids. But it's still a very, 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 very viable strat if, if you do it properly, right? Uh, so in goes the golem. Uh, gonna it has a bit of a wall breaker fail there. I missed that the first time. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> in goes that second golem. Drops the king to help start working on that wall. He needs to be through this wall because he just wants to get into this inferno range and start taking this out with that kill squad, right? Uh, has that queen, or sorry, king going in there. Queen in behind. CC comes out, down goes the poison. Gonna rage it up, take care of basically the rest of this section of the base. CC is now down. As soon as that dragon goes down, see you later. Everything's gonna lock on to that inferno. Inferno is going down, see you later. Queen is now working on everything in that core. So in come the hawks. Uh, Cause this side inferno is a single target and it is no threat to these hogs whatsoever. 
um, only one bomb has been taken out. But if you look, really, once the hogs get through this compartment right here, there's not a lot of space for any more bombs until you get down here. So all these hogs get, see, see what I mean? You send in a few hogs, took out that DGB, still got a handful more to send in afterwards, finish off the rest of these defenses that are uh, still kind of under leveled. So awesome job. Heal goes down, right? This base does not stand a chance from this point. Still has the ability on his queen. One more heal to drop over this last section of base. There it is. Hogs are just going to continue to work through, and it's cleanup time. Sexy attack, DI. Yeah, nice job, buddy. Tree stars in the bag. Thought this was a. <laughs> This was my favorite attack of the war, actually. And you're going to see why. Um, Arx <laughs> brings an insane kind of queen charge. Four healers going to kind of walk into this section, get right in here, take out this air defense, and then end up taking out this air defense. Doesn't bring any golems. And you'll see a little little bit of a surprise at the end. Uh, really like the two giants going down here so the wizards can get in there, create that funnel to make sure that queen goes right into this little pocket and then you can open it up once those defenses are down and continue to move the queen in to take out that other air defense. Um, just a genius, genius attack here. Uh, another wizard down the other side, right? Really needs this queen to continue to move into this section of the base. Um, oh, sorry, drops the jump here, I believe. But Queen's going in, doing her thing. Uh, might even rage here, I believe, at this point. Because the Lava Hound comes out. Yeah, it's got to be a rage going down here. Any second. Rage, rage, rage. Don't make me look bad, Arx. <laughs> or drop a minion. <laughs> Maybe that's what I meant. Wow. <laughs> Tough night for me tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyhow... So that Lava Hound is about to go down. She's going to have to clean up those pups before she continues the way into the base. Um, has the Queen's attention there, though, in the core. right? So uh, this Queen charge is going to get really, really, really good value. Down goes that last pup. The Queen locks on the Queen. There goes the Rage to make sure the Queen survives the Queen shots while she's getting smacked by that cannon. Jump spell goes down. All just took an insane amount of time. I, did, I do watch the replays in at least two times speed. So... Um, <laughs> that's probably what that was there <laughs> really for me but two air defense down defense queen down cc taken care of who needs golems who needs their king let's just lava the base right we got three lava hounds we got a bunch of loons going in haste goes down push everything right on top of the air defense the teslas everything's going to converge in another haste goes down really take care of those really crucial defensive points to continue to push all the balloons into the remaining defenses. As you can see, the two ground expos don't stand a chance, but let's just rage for fun anyways, even though you definitely did not even need that rage. I would say you probably didn't even need any spells other than the jump and the rage for the queen. You probably didn't even need the rage for the queen here, Arx. That's what I liked about this attack. You, I'm almost 100% positive. A, you swagged your king, which is awesome. I hope you guys noticed that. The king has not been deployed yet this entire raid. And B, I bet you didn't even need any of those spells other than that jump spell to get your queen into that air defense. So maybe the rage, but still. Swag king, sexy attack. Definitely the attack of the, attack of the war. Loved it, Arcs. On their top, Town Hall 9. What else do I have here? Sean had a nice uh, six-star war. Uh, yeah, we were checking Sean's attack here. Uh, brings a four Valks, uh, kind of a little Govaho. I'm a huge fan of this strat as opposed to like a stoned. Um, I really think unless you are very unfortunate versus some spring traps or you deploy your Valks too early so they get out in front of your golems too quickly, um, you'll get way better value on the Valks. Uh, they really help your queen push into the base. They really just, I don't know. I, I Four Valks to me is much, much more valuable than a third golem in most cases. Maybe not in every case. Uh, as you can see, though, Sean's created that funnel. Beautiful job with that. Opens up the wall. Great jump placement. Going to let him into all this stuff in here. Uh, it does have the double jump. 
Now, here's what I'm talking about. The valve's going to get out in front a little bit. Uh, there's no heel put down um, for the Valks. He saves them for the Hogs, which is good because obviously he came away at the three star. But look, he barely, barely, barely gets this queen. Like you'll see, he does get the queen. Obviously, the king's in there, but king's die. The king dies fairly quickly here. Few more seconds, down it goes. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> I am freaking over like five tonight. This is terrible. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, my point was, I, I know what I meant to say. The king made it there without the Valks really being a huge factor. So what, what I was trying to say is if you're not healing the Valks and utilizing the DPS that they do to the buildings as you kind of push into the base, um, which, I mean, you kind of do. Um, right, the Valks kind of took off towards this expo and then over to these bombs and died because uh, they weren't healed. They were getting damaged the whole time. They kind of get out in front of the, uh, like, uh, my, my, anyways, my whole point <laughs> here is I think Sean probably could have got the same value out of that kill squad without the four Valks. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but they didn't do a heck of a lot of tanking. They didn't do a heck of a lot. The king took a lot of damage, but still ended up finishing the job in, uh, on the queen there. I don't know. It's a very tricky thing. I've been noticing in some of my attacks that I've done, uh, for sure. And the only reason I brought this up is because I've noticed, like I brought you know, a witch or some val uh, valves to really try to help bolster the uh, kill squad. But then when I watched the replay, they didn't do that much before they died. They did, but they didn't. If that makes sense. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? If I just went two golems from my king, I would have got pretty much the same result. Maybe not quite the same. But the important parts were taken care of. And then I could have just brought extra hogs, which, I don't know, to me is more valuable. Anyhow, nice tree start in the bag there, Sean. Sorry to say six-pack flexing it there. Uh, number 12 I have? Yeah, Peter brought a nice little walk here, I believe. Yeah, a little queen walk. Uh, brings. Uh, I love the, the new little spell combination you can bring. Earthquakes this core. Has the rage and two heals still as well. Goes ahead and drops his queen walk at the 9 o'clock position. I believe he uh, did he just walk all the way down. I remember this attack. Uh, notice too, another reason I want to show this. For some reason, like this is not the first time I've shown replays with one Valk. And even that, not even a max Valk. A level three, one level three Valk. <laughs> so we're going to play that game. Follow the Valk. Uh, Peter really cutting it close when that level three expo locks on the queen. Got to be really careful, the guys in your queen walks. When a level 3 expo locks on with only one other point defense, your healers are not going to be able to keep up. Uh, and at some point, you will have to rage. So keep that in mind. Uh, Peter really just kind of pushed it to the limit there, though, which was absolutely perfect because he's under the rage for the king, taking out the skeletons, and is going to be under the rage locking onto this dragon right off the bat. Get a few really good shots in, then rages it up, finishes it off. Does not need the poison. You do not bring poison to help your queen with your CC troops, expect to at least use the ability, if not also have to use a rage. Peter, <laughs> just killing it now at this point. You did burn the queen ability, but she's full health, full life again. She's gonna continue her way all the way down here. And you are about to send in two golems right in at this queen chamber. That's four of this touch, because he's got a lot of trash to go through. But look how long this took, <laughs> right? <laughs> And then he goes in. Here comes the goal. Um, I thought he had two golems. He does have a CC to deploy there still. I think it's a second goal. Is it crazy? Maybe not. There goes the Valk. No, he brought Max Valks. Crazy. How did I miss this? <laughs> so that's where the one Val came from. And now he's sent in four Valks kind of into this queen. They're going to take out that, this queen. Um, another huge, 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 huge piece of this, guys, is that I didn't mention yet. 
There is no king for Peter. His king is down. That's where these four valves came from, really to help take care of this uh, queen. Even though the little queen going in behind that golem would have taken care of that queen as well, just taking a little bit more time. But really just goes ahead and gets these valves out ahead, which was I, I thought they got really good value here because they, tar they tanked for this queen all the way up until this point right now when this expo is targeting her. But that doesn't matter. She's going to do cleanup. There's like no defenses left. There was maybe three, six, eight defenses left for these 18 some hogs or 16 hogs to go in. So fantastic job, Peter. Tree stars in the bag. Kingless. Love it. So we got a bit of a theme going here for the Knights because our swag, swag the king. Peter didn't have a king, and I have one more kingless attack to show you. But I got another legit attack in between to show you. I shouldn't say legit, that's not the right word. Uh, a full army comp attack? I don't know. Clearly I'm, I'm not on the ball tonight, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> funnel goes down. We got Chief Lalo bringing... A uh, very standard shattered Lalo pre, you know, forget those poisons. This is like pre, pre update Lalo. Chief Lalo is showing us why he is the chief of Lalo's. Entry is great. King is in. Poison's down. CC's dead. I don't know how many times now I've said in recaps, right? <laughs> what are you looking for in a Lalo? You're looking for two air defense if you're bringing two golems. The Queen and the CC Troops. What does Lalo get here? Two air defense, the Queen, and the CC Troops. And bam, in goes the Lava Hounds. Lava Hound 1, Lava Hound 2, a few balloons, Im uh, balloons immediately on the back end to help kind of push everything in. Queen ends up taking out the Arch Tower for them, that's fine. Drops the Rage, push everything kind of in. It's going to meet over top of this Expo. It's got multiple stuff. Another Lava Hound going in that last remaining air defense. And just sprinkles the loons in, right? Like, it is just GG from this point. There's only a handful of defenses. Only a few of those handful can even target air. So, clean up time. Lalo just rips this base to shreds. Love it. Beautiful. Tree star in the bag. I'm telling you guys. Two air defense. Queen. The CC troops. Properly deploy your loons and your hounds. You can almost always come away with a three star. Almost. I mean, especially on bases like we just saw, right? Like, I don't know. Shattered Lalo, guys. Very, very viable. Very reliable, I should even say. Um, anyhow, I got one more from the bottom here. And we're going to wrap this up. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? With a hood attacking with Otis King. I love it. Uh, another Kingless attack going up here. Again, you know, uh, these guys are not bringing four bases. Like, these are fairly well designed bases. I mean, we did uh, clean them pretty much, but hey, we missed one on the ninth. That doesn't happen a lot, especially in Farming Wars. So, hats off to this Crystal Clan. Um, they're definitely a pretty decent uh south korean war clan you know uh, obviously they got some work to do on their attacking side but as for base building they're not just uh, at least you know they're not copying very common symmetrical four bases that's that's about all i'll say so um we did have a little bit of adversity and obviously uh with their lack of being able to clear the nines, that was the downfall, and that's what it came down to. But uh, I will still give them credit, you know, like their bases were a lot better than most of the Pharma clans we faced. So, um, but Hoodie goes in here again, no king. Also, what I liked though was most guys bring a Pekka's or, um, sorry, Pekka's or Valks to deal with the queen. But if you leave your queen open for a little bit of a dragon action uh, to take take her out, that's also a very viable option to take out the defensive queen. So kill squad's gone in. Here come the hawks, right? Uh, has already taken care of one DGB. Does have one more DGB to worry about. Uh, but everything is just going to move right on in here. I'm trying to remember where that other bomb set is. Um, 
I don't even know if he ends up triggering it. Because there's really only uh, this bottom kind of 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock position. Queen's in there already raised up. But again, uh, really, the heel is going down. There's one of the bombs. So they weren't. it wasn't another DGB. Uh, I have a feeling it was on that other side maybe, but uh, no idea. <coughs> Hogs are under that heel. It doesn't matter. There's a Tesla and a cannon. Well done, Hood Rat. Who taught you to bring one witch? That's what I'll say. You know. You know who loves bringing one witch hoodie. You know. Wiser. That's who. <laughs> one witch. I love it. You know what, man? I will say this. I've said it before. I love witches because they're the only unit in the game that creates their own units. So when I look at a base... And I know it's going to be a bit of a push for my kill squad. A, I, I like to bring Valks. You guys know that. But I you kind of use Valks for a different purpose. I don't necessarily use Valks to... Um, I don't know the way to say it. Uh, I use Valks more as tanks. Whereas I use... Which is for distraction. So when I look at a base and I want to bring some extra units, I'll think of four ballots first, but I'll also think of just one witch. Because if I don't want to invest that much, but I, I just want to add that little touch and I'm really going to get good push with my kill squad, but also have that witch in behind just creating free units for me. If, if I, I guess the way to sum it up, sorry, <laughs> is if I feel the witch can be protected for a very long amount on the raid. I'll always bring a witch to go with that to go with the kill squad. I just I don't know. It's the only unit in the game that produces it, its own unit. So though that's my feeling there. Obviously witches are very, very fragile and you have to take that into account. But anyhow, love the one witch hoodie, love the kingless three star. Um yeah, let's uh let's just wrap it up here though guys. I rambled on enough. Um uh, this was a fun war, though. Uh, it was nice to see some reasonably decent bases. Uh, you know, <laughs> fortunately for this Crystal Clan, they had to face Invicta and then 2.0 within three wars because it was two wars ago that Invicta faced them. So as long as they did a war in between it, uh, yeah, they faced 2.0 and Invicta within three wars. So, <laughs> you know, hats off, Crystal. 59 to 60 attacks. Gave it your best. Did what you could, but um, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser, guys. Just trying to help bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.